In this video, we'll talk about Chlamydia trachomatis. This is a sexually transmitted disease which is caused by bacteria. One might not know that they are even affected by chlamydia because many of the cases chlamydia doesn't show any symptoms. There is no genital pain or discharge from the vagina or penis. So that is why people don't know. It's cryptic. And thereby the number of, the number of chlamydia infection is increasing day by day. Now the mention about chlamydia infection was found in Egyptian literature. So it's not a new disease that is we are learning. According to Nature Review Immunology, several developing countries are heavily affected by chlamydia infection such as Africa, such as uh, South America and many other places. If we think about other sexually transmitted disease caused by bacteria such as syphilis and gonorrhea, all of these are stabilizing throughout the years whereas the chlamydia infection is rising day by day and that is a matter of concern. Let's talk about who are most susceptible or most likely to get chlamydia infection. Both men and uh, female are actually uh, kind of like susceptible for this kind of infection but young women are most susceptible. But the good part is it's not difficult to treat chlamydia because it's a bacterial infection can be nicely treated with antibiotics. But untreated chlamydia can cause several problems. Let's talk about how chlamydia trachomatis is actually transmitted. So chlamydia trachomatis can be transmitted via unprotected sex, multiple sexual partners during pregnancy and childbirth and even via blood transfusion. Symptoms of chlamydia infection involves abdominal pain, discharge from the vagina and penis, painful urination, testicular pain in especially males and bleeding between periods in women. Trachom the chlamydia trachomatis actually infects epithelial cell such as in epithelial cells of urethra, cervix, rectum or conjunctivita and it has different consequences. For example, in females there is pelvic inflammatory disease which is causing severe uh, inflammation in the pelvis and pain in the pelvis. There could be infertility, ectopic pregnancy and premature birth or miscarriage. Another thing which is associated with chlamydia infection is reactive arthritis and it is pretty common in males and females. In males there is inflammation in the testis, epididymis etc. There could be reactive arthritis which is also seen in females and inflamed rectum is another symptom in uh, males. Chlamydia infection leads to trachoma and this is basically a chronic keratoconjunctivitis which might result in blindness. So trachoma is transmitted by personal con contact like droplets, touching contaminated surface and thereby touching your eyes, rubbing your eyes after touching the con contaminated surface. So there are several stages of trachoma infection. For example, this is the normal eye, then eventually there would be intense inflammation, eyelid would be scarred and ultimately there could be a uh, clouding of the cornea which might reduce your vision or sometime even can cause blindness. Chlamydia infection can spread from the mother to baby. So especially the pregnant women should be very careful about this kind of information. So chlamydia can actually get transmitted to the baby during the childbirth process, during the parturition. And in the babies, it affects the conjunctivita and lead to eye, severe eye infection. Let's talk about the diagnosis option of chlamydia. So there are many ways by which chlamydia can be diagnosed. One option is by you doing immunofluorescence. There are specific proteins on chlamydia that can be detected by antibody antigen interactions and uh, cytoplasmic inclusions can nicely be detected in uh, under the microscopes. There could be also PCR based methods like we have seen for uh, COVID and any other infection. So there could be specific genes which are characteristic to chlamydia that could be detected from the urine sample. So from the urine sample of the patient, one can run a PCR and, and look for the genes which are very specific to chlamydia. Now let's talk about the treatment options for chlamydia infection. So chlamydia is a bacteria. Obviously you can use ant ant uh, antimicrobial uh, agents such as antibiotics to treat this infection. So 
chlamydia are actually sensitive to number of uh, broad spectrum antibacterials such as azithromycin and tetracycline and these are like the golden choice for treating chlamydia infection other than that erythromycin could be used for small children and pregnant women because of the effects of tetracycline and other antibiotics in terms of calcification so there these are the various treatment options now question is are there antibiotic resistant chlamydia strains good part is scientists have not found any antibiotic resistant strain yet and that's that's what make chlamydia infection very much treatable in summary we have looked at that chlamydia is a cause of sexually transmitted disease and it's a bacteria that is causing this particular disease one might not even know that they are affected by chlamydia because it could be cryptic and many of the cases it's asymptomatic the diagnosis and the treatment option we have reviewed we looked at the complications which are associated with chlamydia infection we looked at generally chlamydia affects young women and it is not difficult to treat but if left untreated there could be complicated situations like trachoma keratoconjunctivitis and etc you can get notes and flashcards in my facebook page all the links are provided in the description also follow us on the instagram that link is also provided in the description you can support our channel via patreon bhim upi or you can get a small uh, link called super thanks button under the video and you can pay via net banking paytm paypal upi etc anytime feel free to get in touch with us all our social media links social media handles are provided in the description follow us on instagram facebook twitter linkedin all of these places see you in next video